dwell so into that which God had ordained will come to be. Before the rising of a new breed of people, you will see as the people of God rise, so the people of darkness will rise. The son of man is Christ. There is the son of perdition. The man of sin. He said what is holding him is time. There is an appointed time for him to be, to be unveiled. That he will seek for God. He will be God in the temple of God. Maybe in our next, next, next week Sunday, I'll be able to share because of time. What am I saying here? If you don't allow God to chastise you, if you don't allow God like to like Gideon, if Gideon had struggled with God, there is a call for the sons of God. It is not everyone that can hear that voice. Some people will just be going to church, doing the regular things, and they do as they do regularly. You know, there are a lot of people. Many are called, but few are the ones that are chosen. How many? Look at the thunder. There is the, the feast of the trumpet. From the feast of the trumpet, you get to the feast of the atonement. The atonement is when you become the sacrifice. He puts you on the table. It's no longer you. You are slaughtered there. You are there. Everything about you is gone. It's about him. You know when you slaughter an animal, any of the animal, it's gone. It is what you make of that animal that will be. And that is the season that we are coming into. Uh, it, 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 God, as we come in, the, let me tell you, as you, as you yield to God, this day, we cannot justify men that are working with God by just results. Because ungodly people, when Moses came into the land and he brought, he brought his, his rod and the rod turned into, I don't have time, I will have showed you, he turned into a snake. Pharaoh called those people and said, Put down your rod also. And he also changed into snake. If there are miracles, they also will do miracles. Jesus said this was did miracle, but I never knew them. So if we were to just bound and see the people of God is about what we see physically. Do we desire results? There must be results when you work with God. But the result, the means of the result, the source of the result matters. Gideon had result. He was not without a sword. And Joel began to sound, a prophet of God began to sound. My people, a voice is coming. How many will hear the voice of the Spirit? How many will be able to hear the voice in the midst of many crowd and things happening in the world? Your bills, your pills, your husband, your wife, your children, your job, your career, your disappointment, your appointment, your, your achievement, your whatever you have, whatever life will throw at you. People are dying now, both the young and the old. You are in the midst of that, can you hear? In the midst of your pain, in the midst of your rejection, in the midst of what your plan did not come. Oh, I like plan. In the midst of when you quote the scripture and you can't see nothing happen in your life. In the midst of that, can you hear the voice of God? Do you have the ability to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying? He said the Lord speaks. If you can't hear that voice, you will not be able to journey with God in this day. You will not. Because it is the voice based on God, the word of the Lord. No wonder the Bible said there will be a famine of the word. Everyone will still carry the Bible. But how many are hearing what the spirit of the Lord is saying? Because as you hear that voice, that voice confirms you. It begins to align you to a path that you must follow. A path that you have not seen. A breed of people. The Bible said, I don't have time to show you in the next one. He said, this are, is, they are a great and a strong. And if you look at the, the Greek word, the Hebrew word rather, for that great, it talks about unity. A sense of oneness. A sense where a brother has disappointed you, rejected you. But because the dealing of the law, the voice of the Lord has brought, oh my God, God help me. When I see this, I ask myself, Shay, you, are you ready? You're a pastor. Are you ready? The people of God, are you ready? God is going to mess up our life to bring us back to divine order. There's a lot of planning that we have. There's a lot of our, you know, strategy that we plan on our own. And yes, we can get results. But when it is time to follow the path of God, when this result will supersede that which you have seen, I'm telling you, we will go through a path that we've not been to. 
as the daughters of the Lord begin to hear, it is not as you hear that voice, it's not for you to just begin to show forth and raise your shoulder. That voice will bring you to a path. And when you go through that path, you will begin to see the blood of the Lamb. You begin to see the blood of the Lamb. That path is going to be dark. That path is going to be the either. It's, it's taking you because the holy mountain, the holy mountain is the place where you come into the most holy place. He brings you to the third, the second veil, where it is dark. The only light you see is the presence of God. You see the angels there. You come into the mercy seat. God is on the throne. And once you are there, you as you behold him, you die to yourself. He begins to slaughter you and begin to tell you. you and you begin to, with your tears. He said, Esau sought for the bad right with tears, but he couldn't get it. With your tears, God will say, you must die to yourself. Yes, this is the path that you must follow. You must learn. This is the path of the sons and the daughters that will become the message not just to preach the message i'm preaching to myself he said you will become the message yeah, this is not the time that my the word of the lord will not fall to the ground because you will become like me i will pull you i will chastise you i will train you as a son you will be a bastard if i don't train you you must go through the star then you can rise with my sons and my daughter that will show forth on the faith that when i put billions of pounds and dollars in your hand yet you will be faithful unto me you will not be carried away people are coming things are coming people of god i don't know how to pour this onto you but be prepared god told me prepare eat the journey still fashion i'm gonna train you i will take you in this day because he said i don't have the time again which generation are gonna we are the, like the last generation that will bring forth the prophecy of god into manifestation so in this day it is not just for us to prophesy we become the prophecy of god to the nation we become the message we become christ we become the one that the world is waiting for because a new breed will come because the seed of unlawlessness the seed of unrighteousness they're also emerging wherever they are they're coming no wonder the bible said i will build my church and the gate of hell i pray for you don't allow your needs i beg of this is one of the major things is that needs in your body you need healing you need money you need risk those things are the god will sort them out yes they might be challenging but i beg of you let your eyes be on the lord allow the lord to have his way in your life don't allow the word of god not to have effect in your life don't just look at the word of god and you're shown away don't be you don't be a man don't be a pastor that just preach the word but don't leave the world no 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 please i beg of you that when you get to your closet you do have, you become another man not that you come to sunday or sunday morning or sunday afternoon or sunday evening go to a conference and you are there and at the end of the whole day after leaving the conference even while you are there you're in ungodliness or righteousness god can't tell you what to do you look at the world the world can't tell you when i look at the world even as a pastor i say ah, the journey is still far the journey is still far on sunday i pray i pray i have time to be able to pour that which to be able to have time to break it down to break the stain down if you don't hear the voice you can't come on the journey no you can't you will not because it is only the voice that will show you the path without the voice it is the voice it is as many that hear the voice of the spirit what the spirit is saying to the church if he will tell you what to do the path to follow and you will see the similarity you will not know that path if you don't heed to the voice of god our time is gone here because as you yield to that voice you will be able to know the path there can be harvest you don't come into the harvest if you don't bring the resources. He said, let the, the, the wheat and the wheat begin to grow. He said, the time will come. And I'm telling you, the day of the Lord is here. The day of the Lord is here. The day of the Lord is coming. It's here. Is that it is here is gradually we can feel the impulse of the spirit we can feel the heartbeat of the lord and god is saying let me train you 